with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency markets recently attracting unprecedented amounts of attention, many are left wondering what the popularity of this new technology means. Digital currencies have the potential to disrupt financial systems across the globe through new business opportunities, technological applications, and by fully distributing control over money. However, while some consider cryptocurrency a much needed innovation, others see it as nothing more than a bubble ready to burst. My name is Nathan, and welcome to Caspian Report. If you'd like to help us produce more content like this, please visit our fundraising page at patreon.com slash caspianreport. The mysterious inventor of Bitcoin, known only under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, described Bitcoin in his initial 2008 announcement as a new electronic cash system using a completely decentralized peer-to-peer -peer payment network. Traditionally, in order to verify monetary transactions and prevent double spending, a trusted central authority which can keep track of account information like banks or PayPal was needed as a middleman. Bitcoin circumvented this by spreading the transaction and balance data across an entire network, with each node in that network containing a complete history of all transactions using the currency. This way, instead of relying on a single central authority, the network itself verifies transactions by having all nodes come to a consensus on who owns what. If one node in the network contains a transaction that contradicts the rest, it is rejected by its peers and deemed invalid. This strategy for tracking and verifying transactions is called the blockchain and is what Bitcoin and numerous other cryptocurrencies are built on. In order to prevent multiple contradicting transactions from being confirmed at the same time on different nodes, Bitcoin requires a certain amount of computing power before blocks of transactions are permanently written into the currency's history. This process consists of generating a cryptographic hash of a block's transactions that must meet certain predefined criteria and is known as mining. In order to encourage miners to dedicate computing power to accomplish this work, those who successfully verify blocks of transactions are able to mint new coins for themselves, thereby allowing the entire network to be self-sufficient. Cryptocurrencies have entered the world at a point where faith in traditional banking and monetary systems are wearing thin. The financial crisis of 2008 led to heavy market manipulation and capital controls by central banks, such as the extensive and controversial use of quantitative easing in the US, UK, and Japan. Simply put, central banks electronically print huge sums of money and use the newly created funds to purchase assets from other struggling banks. Large injections of cash into the economy, like those of quantitative easing, can easily lead to a sharp devaluation of a country's currency. Central banks can also raise or lower interest rates at will, which make it harder or easier to borrow cash at any given moment. Regardless of how effective these actions are at stabilizing or improving the economy, they raise concerns over the vast power that central banks have over their respective nation's currencies. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have gained traction partially as a backlash to the power of central banks. The decentralized nature of cryptos means that no single authority has the power to directly influence their value and is appealing to those who are most skeptical towards governments and central banks. This is compounded by the fact that since abandoning the gold standard in 1971, the value of the US dollar depends entirely on faith in the economy and the institutions that uphold it. Of course, given all this, the US dollar is still the dominant reserve currency of the world, which reflects a strong international faith in the US Federal Reserve and for the United States economy as a whole. Nonetheless, the rapid rise in popularity of cryptocurrencies have definitely signaled a desire for completely new monetary systems, and governments and international corporations are beginning to take notice. Japan has emerged as a strong early adopter of cryptocurrencies. In March of 2017, a consortium of 47 Japanese banks announced that they were utilizing a cloud-based payment platform powered by the Ripple cryptocurrency in order to achieve cheaper and more efficient transactions. The shift to Ripple is estimated to bring transaction costs down by up to 60% and the technology is expected to be adopted by 40% of all Japanese banks by the end of the year. Around the same time, the Japanese government also enacted legislation aimed at regulating cryptocurrency markets and formally recognizing them as legal payment methods, the first of its kind by a central government. In February of 2017, an organization called the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance was launched in an effort to develop blockchain-based enterprise software on the Ethereum blockchain. 
The EEA is backed by many big-name multinational corporations such as Accenture, Credit Suisse, Deloitte, Samsung, and Microsoft, and is a great example of how blockchain technology is getting serious investment for commercial use. There are also plenty of bottom-up approaches towards cryptocurrencies as well that utilize blockchain networks and their decentralized nature as an alternative to popular centralized computing platforms such as Amazon Web Services or Google's cloud platform. Sciacoin is one such currency that facilitates the rental of computer storage on the blockchain and aims to be a direct competitor to major cloud computing providers through its relatively low cost and distributed approach. Data is stored in tiny encrypted pieces across the entire SIA network, making it appealing for anyone wary of trusting commercial entities with their sensitive data or for those who view centralized storage providers as a dangerous single point of failure. Because of the widespread reliance on Amazon's Simple Storage Service, or S3 for short, there have been multiple instances of huge amounts of online services and websites being disrupted at the same time due to S3 outages. Although they are quite rare, these outages are a massive concern for businesses and engineers who need reliable and consistent cloud computing. Cryptocurrencies are especially useful in developing economies, where the average person is less likely to have a credit card or bank account, and monetary policies contain less consumer-protecting regulations. In Nigeria, the most populous country in Africa, a 2014 report discovered that 64% of residents do not have access to traditional banking services and often rely on sending money physically in bags or envelopes. Those that do have access have to pay abnormally high exchange rates or fees when sending money across borders, making remittances to African nations difficult and expensive. The World Bank in 2013 estimated that remittance fees to Africa cost on average a painful 12%, much higher than the rest of the world due to a lack of competition amongst banks and payment services. Bill Gates has stated his optimism towards Bitcoin as a step in the right direction towards solving the high cost of remittances, but believes that greater innovation will still be needed. One cryptocurrency aiming to tackle this issue is Stellar, which is built to provide its own protocol as an alternative to traditional cross-border payment services like Western Union. Stellar's infrastructure can be used to send and receive money in any currency easier, faster, and cheaper than what is currently available to most Africans. In the coming years, as competition amongst businesses increases and more money is exchanged, demand in blockchain technology is likely to continue growing alongside it. However, for all the positive applications of cryptocurrencies and blockchains, there are plenty of downsides as well. For one, the value of coins are prone to extreme volatility and have experienced wild swings in value. In the past few months alone, the price of Bitcoin has surged from around $1,000 to a peak of $3,000, with almost all other cryptocurrencies experiencing similar activity. In the same time period, the value of Sia coin underwent an astonishing 4,400% rise in value. While a jump like that may seem like a golden opportunity, it also represents dangerous and unpredictable behavior that attracts speculators and deters long-term investment. A boom can easily turn into a bust, as it did in late 2013, when Bitcoin lost over half its value, crashing from a peak of $1,155 to just $500 in a span of three weeks. Because most cryptocurrencies are inherently anonymous and mostly unregulated, they are also an outlet for criminal activity in black markets. A well-known example of this is the former darknet marketplace called Silk Road, which was widely used as a method to buy and sell illegal drugs using Bitcoin. It is estimated that around $15 million of transactions took place annually on Silk Road, which eventually attracted the attention of the FBI, who shut it down in 2013. Although Silk Road was quite tame in its content and restricted violent or harmful goods, there continue to exist multiple other platforms which offer easy and anonymous methods of acquiring firearms, assassination services, security exploits, and child pornography. Bitcoin is also often used in ransomware attacks in which a computer's data is encrypted and locked to the owner until they pay the attacker a ransom. A recent and famous example of this is the WannaCry attack, which affected hundreds of thousands of machines across over 150 countries and seriously impacted major organizations like Britain's National Health Service as well as Spain's Telefonica and the shipping service FedEx. 
The attack resulted in over $130,000 worth of Bitcoin payments to the perpetrators who, even though the wallet addresses and transactions are fully visible to the public, still remain unknown. As with many disruptive technologies, cryptocurrencies introduce new opportunities for malicious exploitation and will require security organizations to innovate in their attempts to defend against such criminal activity. Regardless of their pros and cons, many will draw comparisons between the recent hype surrounding cryptocurrencies and the dot-com bubble of the late 1990s. As risk takers are drawn towards the crypto market in an attempt to get an early jump on a disruptive new trend, it is increasingly likely that another crash in many or all cryptocurrencies will occur. The popular cryptocurrency tracking website CoinMarketCap.com currently lists a whopping 757 different currencies in existence. However, all the excitement and speculation may very well prove warranted in the end. Although the bursting of the dot-com bubble marked the end of many technological endeavors, some of those that did survive, like Amazon and eBay, grew to become dominant players in the tech world. With Bitcoin and Ethereum leading the way, the current frenzy could be just the environment needed to push blockchain technology into the mainstream. This was a Caspian Report by me, Nathan. I want to give thanks to all our supporters on Patreon, and if you want to help us create more content like this, please visit us at patreon.com slash caspianreport to become a patron. You can also follow me on my personal Twitter account, which is linked in the description below. As always, thank you all for watching, and see you next time.